Now, let's add these other pieces. First, let's add our pins. Now, these pins are a little bit longer than the other pins we were using. Those are located under connector pins, and they are the 3x3 three three connector pins. Make sure we're in auto. Select it, and now I want to move it in. Do you see how I can move it in just one position? Just like that. And I'm going to bring another one in and move it in one position. It's all right if you can, if you accidentally do that. Just go up here to translation, and now just move it in to where you need it. I think it's roughly about, yeah, it looks good, right about there. Now, let's add this angle. That is located in specialty structure. It's the 2 by 3 right angle. Make sure you're in auto. I select the right angle. And now I want to select one of the pins. And I want to place it just like this. Now watch close. Because it's going the wrong way. Or it's facing the wrong direction. So I go like this, I click on it, and now these two arrows appear. What this does is this flips the part. So if I click on it, you see how it flipped it? If I click on it again, it'll flip it again. I'm going to do the undo, though, because it kind of flipped it, did something weird there. All right, and once I've flipped it, now I select it, and you see this ring here. This allows me to rotate it. Now, if I select this pin here, you see how it rotates on the wrong axis. So I want to make sure that I've selected this green pin here. I rotate it into place, and there it is. Now, let's add this corner connector here. That's located under corner connectors. And it's the 2 by wide. So again, I want to be in auto. And I'm going to select 2 by wide. And I want to bring it uh, roughly about there. Now, if this is backwards, in other words, if this were turned around, uh, if I click on this um, like this, if it were turned around this way, Sometimes it'll come in like that. Not a problem. You can use, in the auto feature, just click on it, and you can use this flip command. But it's important that you flip it from the right surface. So if I click here and I hit flip, it's going to kind of do that. Um, or if I click up here, it will flip in a different way. So it depends on where you click as to where you get your flip. So actually that first one was correct. So let's here, actually it looks like it gave it to us. All right, we're good. Now, this is in the wrong hole. So use the auto. I'm going to select this hole here and place this right about there. And oops, I guess it is backwards. So let's flip this again. So I'm going to select this pin, flip, there we go. And now, make sure I've selected that axis, and I'm going to spin this around just like that. Now let's see if I'm correct. Nope, I'm actually backwards. So let's see if we can flip it. I'm going to click here and flip. Let's see if that kind of worked. Nope, that didn't seem to do anything. Let's try it again here, and flip. Okay, so let's spin it. There we go. Now with auto, I'm going to click here, and I'm going to drag it down, and there. So with a little bit of creativity and finessing, we were able to get that in place. And now finally, we have these standoffs. This just gives us the correct amount of space needed for the next, or actually the one after the next, 
um, when we put this piece on, you can see the spacer in here. So let's go do that. Down to here, click on standoffs, and this standoff is a two by right here. And so that would be this one right here. So again, we want to be in auto, two by, and we need there, and another one right there. Now those look almost too long, but that's all right. Because I can click on this and I can reduce it to what I need. So you see these little spaces in here? Looks like there's just two of them. So I'm going to click it one more time, hit the negative, and there we go. So it's so handy about the program is I can make these things longer without having to go in and find different pieces, longer or shorter.